Hi, welcome to the Moon and Libra channel. Today is the 27th of August 2022. I forgot what month it was then. And tonight we have a full moon, not a full moon, we have a new moon in Virgo. So I'm just going to do a really quick, because I have to set off, um, I'm going away this weekend and I need to set off as soon as I can really. So quick reading, quick energy reading for the new moon in Virgo. Okay, so let's see what we get. Okay, we've got the strength card, it's very Leo energy. We've got the eight of swords, so it's a double eight energy coming through. going to draw a few from the Tao Oracle as well and see what comes through there. So it's interesting we've got the strength card which to me is a very fiery energy. We've got the swords which is air and the cups which is water. The only element that hasn't shown up so far is, is earth which is, uh, which is the element for Virgo. So I think maybe we need to look around at, at the other planets as well and think about how they're going to be affecting the energy um, of this Virgo new moon. And I know we've got a lot going on with Mars at the moment, a very, um, very active Mars, which is um, aspecting Jupiter and Chiron at the moment. Okay, so the last three cards that I've got from the Tao, we've got the words holding together the family and abundance. Holding together the family in abundance. Very Virgo energy. That is very Virgo energy. I'm taking those three together as a statement. Holding the family together in abundance. Um, so yeah, it's about taking care of... Um, the details in terms of your home and your family life. Um, there's been some, perhaps there's been some things that um, you've been feeling have been holding you back. This card, you, you being completely held back and tied up. Um, blindfolded you can't see where you are you can't see where you're going um feeling completely helpless and completely trapped and yet you've got you've got the gate the gate is open for you to walk out you can actually escape from these uh, from these um the things that bind you um this card is a card of kind of dissatisfaction, frustration, not being happy with where you've found yourself. Okay, so I feel like with the strength card coming through, we're being told to dig deep with this Virgo new moon and hold together the family in abundance. Bring your energy back now to yourself, to your body, to your health, to your family and draw on that Virgo energy um, of kind of meticulous um meticulous planning and looking at the finer details i think there's looking at the big picture looking at your life as a whole um going over things that have happened in the past all things like that are bringing about an energy that is just not needed right now what is needed right now is for us to be focusing on our home on ourselves on our health on taking care of our bodies and, and our responsibilities to our families and our homes and making our home a nice um comfortable place to be 
um, and focusing on bringing about abundance in all of its forms. You know, abundance isn't just about monetary gain. Abundance is about recognizing your blessings and um, showing gratitude for all of the good things that you do have in your life and taking care of them, taking care of the details. Um, home life community, intimate relationships, our human family, um, union, cooperation, solidarity, membership. Yeah, no, I'm just taking these three as that kind of statement that it says, holding together the family in abundance. And if I show you the uh, cards for Virgo, this energy of tending to the fields, um, dutiful, hesitant and humble with a discriminating, diligent and painstaking air, diligence, um, looking after your home and all of the, you know, decluttering all of your home if you can, as much as you can, clearing out old space. Um, because something else that's occurring um, astrologically at the moment is that we've got a retrograde in Uranus and this is all about massive change, creating massive change. Okay, so with the Virgo energy, we're going to be looking at the small steps that we can start taking to create big change in our lives. So it's about creating new habits and doing things diligently with diligence um, with a meticulous um, eye to all the little changes that you can make that are going to lead to big, um, well, it says enlightenment and awakening. And this can kind of, I always find that simplicity often leads to the biggest kind of um, most profound revelations. It's, it's always so simple when you, I've had some really profound kind of, moments where I've thought bloody how and it's been a really big realization of something and I've thought about it and I've thought well that was so simple why couldn't I see that before but simplicity is often the most profound um realization that you can have simple things it, you know making these massive changes doesn't have to be um a huge overwhelm it, it can be as simple as making very small changes um, and allowing them to become habits. Um, so thinking about small changes that you can make now on a daily basis that will bring about more healthy habits for you in your future. Focusing on your health, focusing on your body, focusing on your home and your family and the things that you're responsible for and being diligent, and meticulous in recognizing and uh, planning for the things that you are responsible for, which, you know, number one, top priority on that list is yourself, your health, your body, your happiness, your well-being, and then extending that out <clears throat> to your family <clears throat> and your home. So with the new moon, it's all about setting intentions. It's all about sitting down and planning. So have a think over this new moon about the little changes that you can make. Um, you know, what things can you change? Just small things. It doesn't have to be big things, you know. Over this next month, what small things can you change and implement and make a habit in your daily life that's going to lead to this positive change and lead to improvement in your health, in your mental well-being, and in your home and your family life. Okay, and abundance is always a good place to start with these things. Thinking about what you're grateful for, thinking about what you what you've had over the last month as well, what you've received, what you know, the, the people that you've met, the um connections that you've made, um places that you've been, good times that you've had, all of that, you know, taking it away from money and just focus on your health and your well being in, in with this you know it doesn't not everything is about money abundance isn't about money so you know think about everything that you've had begin with gratitude and then look forward to what it is that you want to bring in and that's what new moon is all about it's about setting intentions so um yeah figuring out how you can um attract more abundance into your life and um and improve your health and your well-being so anyway i'm going to leave it there because I have got to go and get in the car and drive down for about four hours down to Kent now 
So I'll be back again for another reading, uh, probably for the full moon. Uh, so thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.